Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to show you the strangest thing in my collection room. So let's go take a look at it. Now, as a kid, nothing was more terrifying than watching R2-D2 and C-3PO basically get kidnapped and placed in the sand crawler. But the creepiest thing about that was this droid. And I was terrified of it when I was a kid. So, of course, I had to get it in my collection. <laughs> and this thing is just beautiful. This is CZ3, and this is a signature edition made by Regal Robot. Now, they only made 15 of these, and this one's signed by Brian Muir. Uh, well, all 15 signature editions were signed by B Brian Muir. But most importantly for me, this is number one out of those 15 which makes this not only the strangest piece in my collection, but honestly, kind of the rarest piece, right? The most exclusive, because there's only 15 of these. And look at the attention to detail that Regal Robot put into this. Um, those screws, right? So this was digitally scanned from the original screen used droid that's in the Lucasfilm archives. But Regal Robot goes so much further and really takes a look at every little detail and replicates it exactly as you see it in the Lucasfilm archives. Now, the one thing I want to point out is that this version is actually not the Sandcrawler version. They actually replicated the version that we see outside of Moss Eisley when Luke sells the land speeder, which you see here. And I don't know if a lot of people knew that, but Anthony Daniels actually is in that droid costume. So it's kind of a little cool piece of Star Wars history there that uh, Anthony Daniels not only played C-3PO but he also played CZ-3 but again look at the attention to detail that Regal Robot puts in here this is one of those hard props to really appreciate because of the color um, it's only under certain lighting that you can really appreciate all the washes and all of the um, just the colors that they put into this um, because from a glance you know in, in normal lighting it, it just looks white right but I'm telling you the attention to detail and the weathering on this thing is just mind-blowing and the best thing about Regal Robot is that since they have the license from Lucasfilm, they're able to go into the Lucasfilm archives and digitally scan these screen use props, which is what they did with this one. They digitally scanned it and they're able to capture all the dimensions and everything exactly as it sits in the Lucasfilm archives. And in fact, this was their very first piece um, that they did like this technically in their archive collection um, although it, obviously it wasn't branded that way back when this came out but again this thing is just not only the strangest thing in my collection but look it's number one out of 15 so it is definitely the most exclusive and probably the rarest piece in my collection so I'm super super lucky to have this and I'm just I'm always in awe, even though it creeps me out. It always gives me these creepy feelings because it brings me back to my childhood. I still love it. And it's one of my favorite pieces in my collection. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and look out for the next video. Thanks guys.